this week's video. Now in this week's video, I am going to do a walkthrough of the new features on the software update for the Allen & Heath CQ18T. I've done a couple of previous videos on this desk, one review and one walkthrough of the effects, which was requested by people watching. Um, but this new update, they've finally got some of the bits in that I wanted, that I've made feature requests for. And there's also something that I put a feature request in for that I realized was already on the desk that I've <laughs> discovered since I've been playing around with the new update. Don't know why I didn't manage to find it before. I've had the desk now about six months and I have to say I'm still very, very pleased with it. It's actually, it's been one of the most useful bits of kit I've had in just helping me with my sort of performance live. I know it sounds silly as it's a desk, but it's enabled me to use my in-ear monitors properly and get used to them because I can use them on it every gig now. Everyone I play with when I'm using the desk, they're all so pleased with the sound that they get in their ears. It's like a proper sort of studio sound almost live, which is something that we've never had in the past as we just have a couple of floor wedges. Now we've all got proper in-ear mixes. The other thing I absolutely love on the desk though is the ability to multi-track record onto the SD card. I love that. I record as many gigs as I can and I listen back and it's so useful listening back to yourself to improve and practice, improve on what you did last time. I love that feature. So without further ado, let's go through my walkthrough of the new features. What I've done is a screen recording of my iPad with the app on, which pretty much mirrors the touch screen on the device um, and I'm actually recording the audio of me speaking on to the SD card so when you watch the start of this video what I've done I've set up one of the soft keys to be a play record button I think it's the second one down so there's silence at the very beginning of this clip and if you look on the left hand side I've put an arrow to show it I press that button and that's when I start recording so without further ado here we go here's the walkthrough of the new features So hopefully you saw in the top left hand corner there the um, number two button lighting up. That is the button that I've got set up to record on the SD card. Um, I'll show you how I did that in a minute, but I just wanted to uh, demo that and start the video without that button on um, because I'm actually recording this audio directly onto the CQ18 itself, onto the card but I'm using the screenshot of the app or a screen record of me using the app so you can see what I'm doing so to go through the new features the first one is the mute group so I'm on the config tab so on the actual device itself that's the bottom left hand button um, this uh, things look pretty much the same on the app they're um, in a slightly different place but they're pretty much the same and obviously the t you've got the tabs across the top instead of the physical buttons so um, if you look across the tabs on this config screen, the far right hand one is controller network, so I'm going to hit that. And then in here, you've now got these extra tabs underneath the main tabs, the soft controls, mute groups, DCAs, custom layer, and network. Um, in fact, while I'm here, let's go over the soft controls. This is just the way I've set up my soft keys. So I've got number two, function, multi track, play and record. And I've got the others set up um, top one to mute all effects which is also mirrored on the foot switch you can see there um, and I set up number three to I used to have it to mute the main out but now you've got mute groups I've got it set to mute everything um, that I've got plugged in on a channel leaving the Bluetooth um, not muted so I can play music in the breaks which is one of the great functions of mute groups so first thing let's look at the mute groups now the way this works, you set them up in here, and basically you've got four mute groups, you select them, and then you just literally highlight the um, channels that you want to be muted when you hit the mute groups. And it's that simple, and you've got four of them there. You can mute the effects, you can mute the all of the inputs and all the outputs, whatever you want. And what's useful for me is I've now, let me go to the fader tab at the top here, I've got it set... So here's my inputs. If I hit the mute group, I've got it set to the third button. So I just hit the mute group there and it mutes all of my channels. But I'm leaving the Bluetooth unmuted, which is the one that says BT, the third one from the left there. So that's great. This is That's really the feature that I really, really wanted because it was a pain that you'd have to go in and mute all the channels individually if you wanted to play music in the breaks. So the next feature is the DCAs. And basically, you can assign, you've got four different DCAs. I can't remember what DCA stands for. I should know that, shouldn't I? This is bad. I'm going to look it up. Digitally controlled amplifiers. There we go. <laughs> I found it. Um, 
so basically DCA, you select that one and you select the instruments that you want. So on this, just to show you, I've selected all the drums. And what it means is, let's go back to fader. Down the bottom here, on the same place, you've got the mute groups. It's the bottom left. Um, that DCA, if I bring that down, that's then affecting the output of the drums. It's not, it won't affect the faders here. It doesn't pull those faders down. If I just go back into that and I pull that DCA down, it doesn't affect the faders, but it does, though effectively those three channels are rooting into the DCA and that's affecting the overall level that's going to the main left right. So if your drums are too loud out the front, instead of having to go in and move all the, those faders, I can just bring them down like that, um, which is pretty handy. The third thing, which is new, is these custom layers. Now I haven't, as I said, I haven't set these up, but what, what you can do is say on A, you can call it, let's say for example, I want this just on my vocal, vocals on the first one. So let me set this up. So these were the four vocalists on my last gig. Oops. And then maybe I could have the guitar bass, and let's say let's have the keyboards on this uh, on this first one. So what it means on my first screen, then they're the things that I probably want to jump to first. I've got all the the um, I've got all the vocals, and then the guitar, bass, keys. What it means is when you go to your fader tab at the top here, you can select. If you look on the left underneath the hotkey buttons, you've got custom, and it means that you can show a completely different layout um, for how you want the screens to appear. So instead of the default, which is you know going through channels 1 to 8 on that screen, 9 to 16 on that screen, with custom you can call them what you like, as you can see underneath the custom button, I've called that first one vocal. Um, so it means that you could, your more commonly used channels you can put on the first screen, the ones that you're going to use less you can put on the second screen, etc, etc. So that's a really useful feature. And the next thing they've added is uh, on the effects tab. In fact, I'm just going to slightly divert from the newest things. There's something I didn't notice and I said in my first video I wanted them to add and that was the ability to have effects just in your on your send, your in-ear monitors because I like to have this space verb, so I like to have a large room which is being pumped straight into the in-ear monitoring. Um, because it, particularly with the guitar, when it's close mic'd and other close mic'd instruments, it sound, they sound more natural if you can put a little bit of room reverb. And I didn't think you could do it, I was inserting them on the channels. But what you can do, you can send the device to this. As you can see, I've done it on here. I've sent the vocals, the guitar and the drums um, to this room reverb. And what I didn't realise you could do originally is if you look down here you've got effects level to left and right if you turn that right down it doesn't go out the front of the house but the effects level send is still sending out to your send so you're still sending out to all of the auxiliary sends so you're still getting in your ears but it's not going out the front of the house which is exactly what I wanted it to do that's not a new feature I just didn't notice it before I was looking for a kind of pre-fade send but they've just implemented it in a slightly different way which actually is even better so that's brilliant. That's the other thing that I wanted. But what they have added is this ability to EQ these reverbs um, on the output from. So, you know, if you wanted to get rid of the bottom end of the reverbs, you can, you know, you can kill the, the bottom ends um, or whatever it is you want to do, you know, boost the treble, that kind of thing. So that's a cool new feature. The next one, this took me a minute to work out what this one meant. This is added switchable input source point to out one and six so we need to go back into the config at the top left go into the outputs and if we look down the bottom here i've selected number one which is tom which is me if you see this output source point that wasn't there before you it was it was literally just outputting from i'm not quite sure what point it was by default but now it means that you can adjust the point at which you're hearing it so it means you can put in the eq and you can put in the compressor, which if I go into processing, for example, I've set up um, this channel that I'm speaking on now, because I didn't want this to be on the mute group, otherwise once I demonstrated the mute groups, I would have gone silent. But it means um, 
on here on this channel for example let me find the right bit there's your EQ on uh, on that channel so you can include that in your send and you've got the compression as well so basically you can send either before the compressor or after the compressor um, which I think is pretty cool right the next thing is a lock screen now I can't demonstrate this on, on the app because it's actually a lock screen on the physical device. But it means basically if you press the home button, there's a shutdown button and now not next to it there's a lock. So basically you just tap it and it means that you have to tap the lock again to use it. But it means you can't accidentally knock something or someone can't come up and just press stuff on it. Also, they've added MIDI control. Now I'm not going to demonstrate that because I haven't got that set up. But it basically means you can link it to your computer via MIDI and you can use the... Um, CQ18 as a, either you can use it as a control surface for your door or you can use the computer to control the CQ18 I, I don't know about this that's something that I've not used and I probably won't use but um, it basically means you can link it to your computer and synchronise the two things which looks like it's pretty handy if you want to use it for that and the last new feature is let's go back into config and these outputs you didn't used to be able to assign let me go into number two which is robin here you could name these outputs but now you click on them and you can assign them a color which you never used to be able to do which means when you go into fader and you go into the outputs they're all color coded which makes them easier to see which before they were all gray which is very useful so there we are well I hope that all made sense, that walkthrough. If it didn't, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer the questions. I'm not overly familiar with these new features as I haven't used them yet, but I shall be on my next gig, which I'm very excited about. Now I'm going to leave you with a little clip of me rehearsing with my band, and I'm leaving you with this clip because I recorded the entire thing on the CQ18T. And if you look in this footage, there's two camera shots. There's one of me and then there's one of the rest of the band. And if you look at the one of the rest of the band, you can see the CQ18T on the chair there with everything plugged into it. And basically I'm multi-tracking the entire rehearsal. This is what I love about this. We've now got a record of what we rehearse. So when we go to the next rehearsal, we go, we did that bit last time. No, we did it like this, no, we did. Right, hang on, we can check it on the recording that we did on the CQ18T. So in this clip we are rehearsing for a gig that we've got coming up. If you're local to the Brighton area in the UK, it would be good to see some of you. It's on the 25th of July at the Brunswick. Um, and this is one of my original songs. It's the title track of my first album. It's called Long Game. So I hope you enjoy this song. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video as well. If you did, please hit like. Leave me a comment, as I say. Also, if you could hit subscribe, that would be nice. I'm nearly up to 7,000 subscribers now. Um, and I bring out new videos at 7pm every Friday UK time. So I hope to see you next week. Son, I had a car like that. I know how it makes you feel. That he flipped the good, he rubbed his chin. Check the end to keep the wheels. Said you feel a million dollars. When people watch you driving past you never have a million dollars But never believe you broke real fast Before I met your mother I had a string of fancy cars Tarantino, Eldorado, a crystal blue Continental mark Luxury coupe won't be no use But something up I'd like to drive until my dying day It'll make you late, it'll let you down Bust your ass, give you the run around Make you keep on breaking down Stop thinking about the long game You can leave it anywhere When you get back, you might not be there you to drink and to dispel Stop thinking about the long game Thinking about the long game Thinking about the long game Let you down, bust your ass.
just give you the run around Make you keep on breaking down Try thinking about the long game You can leave it anywhere When you get back It might not be the time you to drink and to despair Stop thinking about the long game Thinking about the 